Over the last year, we've done a fantastic job with some very focused initiatives to improve patient flow through the organization, as well as looking at timely access uh, to care and ensuring that the patients are getting the care in the right place by the right care providers. Patients don't want to be here any longer than they need to be. And so through a lot of efficiency efforts, we've decreased our average length of stay. And that creates capacity, that creates extra bed days and allows us to get patients out of the emergency department earlier. And it actually creates space in which we can care for patients. I'd love to see the patients being able to get seen in a timely manner, to get to their bed when they need to, get access to their tests when they need to, because at some point we're all patients and nobody likes to wait in an emergency department, nobody likes to be in the hospital, they want to be home, right? So getting them through the system as quickly as possible, getting them looked after, I think that's what it's all really about, it really is about our patients. The daily goal rounds I think are fantastic. They've really, I think, empowered nurses to be very, very active parts of the team. Um, they know their patients, I think, so much better. They come to the meetings with all of their issues, with all of their information about their patient, with all their questions that they have, with, with what they need to accomplish during the day, and then the team goes about to try and get that work done. I think the nursing staff for the first time in a very long time have been asked to now present their patient. So they really, to present their patient, they really need to get to know their patient. Um, and it really gave them the opportunity to interact and collaboratively work with the uh, allied team, um, which didn't happen before. So it certainly um, helped us in terms of being making us a little bit more efficient in terms of really honing in what's important, right, in terms of discussing the plan of care for the patient and what some of the barriers are to care. The escalation protocol of the hospital and the adoption of it has probably been one of the major impacts of the access to care initiatives. Um, it basically means that if there is a threshold of patients that are admitted in the department, then any additional patients that are admitted, the original patients go upstairs to the ward. I think the escalation protocol also takes medical and surgical patients in the department and moves them to medical and surgical wards upstairs where they get the right care from the right people trained in looking after those illnesses. Patient flow and bed control have seen a marked improvement in the heightened awareness through the use of the escalation protocol. All disciplines throughout the organization understand what they need to do to be able to provide access to care for our inpatients, which may be from the ED, also from ICU, and also from the clinics within our organization. I think the staff have really embraced the philosophy of access to care, having the right patient in the right place and being cared for by the right provider. And when we think about the patient journey, coming in through the emergency department, on the inpatient units and then being discharged to the community, it's really a system approach to helping the patient move through their journey in the healthcare system. I'm very excited about our results. We've had some, some tremendous results uh, over the last year and we should all be very proud of them. You know, this is a really remarkable accomplishment. This is not a simple thing to do. In spite of increasing volumes, our team has pulled together and increased their efficiency and decreased wait times for patients. Uh, and it's a multifaceted strategy, it took a ton of work, and we've had some real positive results to everyone in the hospital that's pitched in on this. Thank you so much for your efforts.